The theme that I was most interested in this semester was imagination. I felt interesting that how imagination creates different kinds of human emotions, that it makes people both happy and sad. In this presentation, I would analyze how much we need our imagination through looking at the prologue from Shakespeare's Henry V and some other real life situations. Henry V opens with a speech by the chorus who announces that we are about to watch a story that will include huge fields, grand battles, and fighting kings. The chorus knows that we will have to use our imaginations to make the story come to life. We must imagine that the small wooden stage is actually the fields of France, and that the few actors who will appear on the stage are actually the huge armies that fight to the death in those fields. From this prologue scene, we can understand that imagination is the key to appreciate a stage play which applies to all forms of entertainment like films and literature. Perhaps imagination is one of the greatest gifts that the God has given to us to carry us into visions of worlds beyond our present reality. Personally, I love to watch those fictional films like Pirates of Caribbean, Harry Potter, and Lord of the Rings. However, I always feel emptiness when I feel finished watching those movies because all the worlds I believed in is imaginary that could not exist in reality. But I think living in imagination is not always a good thing, because if the world is imaginative, like if the person next to you is all imaginary and if what you feel is all fake, then I would no longer be able to believe anything in reality and the reality will just become scary. Imaginations work in unusual ways, would often lead to conditions such as autism or to have trust issues, so I think accepting reality is utmost important. So again, how much do we need our imagination, or why do we need it? I think imagination can certainly take us into grim dystopias of the future or apocalyptic finales, but it can equally give us visions of hope to inspire us. For example, we can imagine people putting down their guns, sharing resources so that everyone has enough and caring for their fields and forests sustainably. Imagination certainly does give us images and stories of things that are not. However, in many cases, it also gives us stories of what could be if we will it so, and if we act towards making it real. Therefore, the correct way to use imagination, or the reason why we need imagination, is that we can use imagination as a way to create hope. The power of imagination is not only important in the film, but also it contributes to our discovery and invention, our images of the world dissolved and recreated, and our potent visions of possible futures. Perhaps that is why Einstein once said that imagination is more important than knowledge. So let's imagine the world after Corona, and now let's enjoy our stay-home life. Thank you for listening.